Germany has a reputation of being a private nation, more concerned about their data and online privacy than most. But how accurate is this assumption and what does it mean for the way German web users embrace social media and engage with brands online? Anna Troyold is here to bust the myths uh, about German social media. Hi Anna. Hi. So is social media popular in Germany and what platforms in particular are, pop are popular with the German audience? It's getting more popular. Um, well, it's uh, not so the, the active usage of um, social media, but people um, tend to sign up more to social platforms, but they prefer to use it in a passive way. So they follow existing content, they watch videos or um, look at pictures which are already there. So they don't post as much, but it's getting more popular in Germany. And um, I would say at the moment it's Facebook and YouTube, which is uh, the most popular, but it's also Pinterest is coming up and Instagram and um, the um, popularity of Facebook is a bit decreasing because uh, more safer platforms are coming up like Elo, um, which is, um, yeah, because of data security reasons in Germany, people tend to uh, prefer those okay. platforms. So Elo, how, how is that different from Facebook? Can you just tell us a little bit more about that platform? Yeah, Elo is um, not very popular at the moment, but it's getting more popular. So it started um, last year in Germany. And the difference is like, for example, their marketing slogan is um, ad free. Their marketing slogan is beautiful and ad free. And they yeah, so they offer their services for free and they make sure that your data is not passed to third parties. So is there no advertising, um, you know, available for marketers if they wanted to advertise in LO? Um, not directly, no. But they're trying to, um, to introduce uh, features which users have to pay for. So that's what, how they want to finance their project. Okay. which is um, probably not the easiest way to establish the project. So um, there are loads of people who are skeptic about um, about it. Okay. Yeah. And what about Zing? That's clearly the, um, the leading professional network. Um, so compared to LinkedIn, which leads in, in other markets. So why is it? Why um, German audience prefers Zing to, to LinkedIn? Yeah, actually, um, there are more users on Xing than on LinkedIn in Germany at the moment. But um, the actual usage of the platform, LinkedIn is popular since the beginning of um, 2015. It's um, more popular for users to go on LinkedIn than on Xing. Mm -hmm. and that's probably the reason why LinkedIn is getting more popular in Germany, because it's an international platform and Xing is only in Austria, Switzerland and Germany. So um, if you want to go abroad and work in international markets, it's better to be on LinkedIn. And people tend to be only on one um, business platform because you don't really want to keep a lot of business platforms updated with your data. So Okay. Yeah. And um, we can't talk about German social media without talking about privacy, mm -hmm. obviously. Are the Germans really as private and worried about um, their data as the rest of the world thinks? And does that really impact how um, they use social network and interact online? Yeah. Um, I think so. I think partly probably because of our history, because of the um, GDR and of, about the Stasi and um, especially older people tend to, the older generation tends to not go on social media platforms because of this. They have, they're afraid that um, the government could use their data. Um, so, but the, regarding the business platforms, it's more popular probably because it can push your career. So people are not that conscious about this. Yeah. Okay. And which are the most common activities Germans um, do on, on social media? Yeah, it's probably, um, yeah, following contents, watching videos, um, looking at pictures. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, do consumers generally interact with brands on social channels and how important is it for brands to have social presence in, in Germany? I think it's very important because um, German people tend to um, to compare products and um, if there are loads of videos on YouTube, for example, where you can compare the products and see the features, it's very important um, for German people to see um, details about the products. Yeah. Okay, and if you um, um, if you were to give an advice. Um, to a, a brand developing its social um, social presence in Germany, what would that be? What advice would you give? Um, probably because um, according to statistics, it's like 91% of um, the age group between 14 and 49 tend to use um, the internet in terms of video streaming and um, getting information from videos. So it's probably um, a good marketing option for companies to go on YouTube, for example, to do fashion blogs on YouTube or to um, provide consumers with details on technology. Yeah. Okay, so video content yeah, predominantly. Definitely, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Anna. Okay, you're welcome.